just got this from FedEx. I'm assuming this is my uh, laser. N-E-J-E, Neji, Neji, I don't know how you people pronounce it. I just say N-E-J-E. -E. See what this looks like. All the way from China here. Well, chips from California for me, but I'm not sure. Originally, it's from uh, China. Ordered this on AliExpress. I think it was like 189, and then uh, with tax and everything, it came to like 203, something like that. particular laser I had a good amount of reviews it's 20 watt which isn't bad you know I only want to put logos and pictures and stuff on woodworking projects that I do for people like sometimes a cutting board you know they want to put their company logo on it or whatever Let me get rid of that box over there and there's a lot of plastic like saran wrap on this thing. It's good. Just in case it got stuck in the rain or something, it'd be okay if it got wet. The outside has plastic on it anyway, but this is really good. Certified. All right, this guy checked off on all the quality control checkpoints. It looks like fastening check, controller test, mechanical test, visual uh, check, and packing list check. Granted, the factory product quality conforms to the standard. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. A little foam, foam. Ooh, lots of parts. Oh boy, I might be, uh, I might be assembling this off camera because this looks like it's pretty involved. Oh, the, I think this is the actual laser itself. The laser. There it is. All right. Oh yeah, there's a little. Drive belts in there. Okay. I didn't see an instruction book. Is there one in here? Oh, it comes with a. What is that? Oh, some kind of cleaning thing, I guess. A little brush. Any parts on this side? Oh, it just pokes through there. Okay. So it looks like everything lifts out of this side. I hope. I don't want to break anything. Oh, okay, I think this looks like a separate. Oh, this is a little go back and forthy thingy. That's the yeah, technical term. Go back and forthy thingy. All right, there it is. It's a connector to connect to the go back and forthy thingy. In plastic. I don't know if I should leave that wrapped in plastic. I, I guess I will for now. I can't. There's connectors on there. Okay. I think I can take off this inspector thing. It's probably going to be in the way. I 
hang on to that. Oh, laser goggles. That's all that stands between me and blindness, right there. All right. And a power cord, power adapter. All right. And it's the USA version, thankfully. I did order something once a long time ago and it came with the European plug and I'm like, ugh. I thought I checked up and it turned out it was my fault. I ordered the wrong thing. There's anything bad sometimes. Many times. Okay, let's get this plastic off of here. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop here, and I will see if I can, oh, there's, uh, look at that, user's manual, oh, never mind, okay, okay, well, I am gonna stop here, and, uh, I'll read through this, figure out how to, uh, there's why I bought that, see, I bought this one, it works with Mac. I'm a Mac nerd, I can't help it. I was a graphic designer for many, many years, working for many different places in New York City. And Macintosh is what I started on and what I stuck with. It's funny how you end, you end up like that, you know? PC people hate Macs and Macs, Mac people hate PCs. But I, don't know, I think they're all the same. They just, they work a little different, that's all. All made in China. Everything's made in China. Even if it's made here, the parts are made in China. So, I'm just flipping through this quick. Okay. Might be in several different languages too. And I could be just looking at duplicate stuff here, just in a different language. Okay. Goodbye for now. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Okay, well, here it is. I have it all put together. You can see the little laser light down there. Tiny little thing. It doesn't look the same as it does in real life. It looks a lot smaller. On the screen, it looks like this little big round blue um, on here. It's, I don't know, in real life, it looks much, much smaller. It's this little tiny dot. Anyway, I just got doing that right on my uh, workbench here. I figured I don't really care too much about the workbench. I beat the crap out of this thing all the time. So I figured, why not do a test image on here? And look, that came out pretty good. And look at that. You know, considering it's one of the little sample images that they give you in the phone app. Oh, and that's another thing. All I had to do was download the app and have this thing plugged in, start the app, and it like instantly detected it. And I just clicked load image, picked one of these, you know, from the sample images. I got, I'm sure you can you make your own images and load it into the app. Um, well, I hope so, because <laughs> otherwise I like, bought this thing for nothing. But anyway, uh, yeah, and one, two, three, done. It took a good, I'd say a good between five and ten minutes. I, I should have timed it better, but uh, close to ten minutes, I'd say, to do that. And that thing is, you know... Look, it's like maybe an inch and a half across, something like that. I don't know. It's pretty small, so anything larger, it's going to take quite a while to to burn whatever you need it to burn. But uh, not too bad. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very impressed on how easy it was to set this up. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I just put this together. You you plug in 
some wires. I had to put a, a you know a zip tie on one of these things right there to keep the wire from popping out. Plug in the power there. There's a USB cord you can plug it into your computer, which I'm going to try that later. But uh, for now, I'm happy with using the phone app. And uh, man, I mean, this was a sorry. I got interrupted by a phone call because on this stupid iPhone, if somebody phone rings, it stops the recording. And you know, but I don't want to answer the phone. There's probably something I can do to set that so it doesn't do that. But yeah. Oh, and look, it did come. It comes with a European adapter, just in case I'm not where I say I am. And I'm thinking these are to bolt this thing down. Like if you wanted to bolt it down to a table, you can do that. It came with an, an extra acorn nut, I call them, that's to bolt this thing onto the, to bolt this carriage, I think they call it, onto this other carriage here. And uh, yeah, comes with all the tools you need to put it together. Comes with this thing, which I think this might be like to clean the laser. Comes with, with some sample pieces of wood and some pieces of cardboard. And this, I think this is a piece of green plexiglass. Like I'm guessing these are like, this looks like you can make a cheap keychain if you wanted to. And I'm assuming this is a sample that you can etch something on here too. It looks like a dog tag. But isn't that cute? Comes with these little samples and this little brush, which I guess that's for cleaning or whatever. Maybe cleaning the dust out of these tracks if you get dust in it. Well, I'm going to definitely bag this thing, like put it in a plastic bag when I'm not using it because my workshop. Oh, and another thing, this produced a lot of smoke. It, I mean, there was smoke everywhere, so um, and it smelled pretty bad because this is, I treated this uh, with linseed oil, so it was burning uh, pressure treated lumber and linseed oil, so yeah, it was probably something toxic there, but oh well. And uh, I did wear these things the whole time because the reflection of, of the laser burning is pretty bright I mean it was really like scary bright so I, I did wear these things just in case because uh, I do value my eyesight so anyway yeah well, let me unplug this thing and this little this little fan comes on periodically as the laser would get hot because it does get hot I should do something like a film it doing something but here is the that's what it is N E J E master 2 and it's a 20 watt. I got the 20 watt. There is a, I think, a 7 watt version, but I got the 20 watt. It was only 189, and uh, like 203 dollars with shipping and taxes and everything. And uh, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now let's see. I'll try to do something else. Let me see if I can. I'll just film it starting something because if I film it doing the whole thing, it's way too long. So hold on one second. regular speed you can see that I screwed up at the top there because I was uh, I was setting I was changing the adjustments on the fly so it made like a black the top of her head is really dark and then there's a black stripe there where I was adjusting it again because it's really a learning curve on how hot you know how strong you got to set the laser or how weak you got to set the laser to get it to do a picture you know without burning it because the other attempts I was doing it was just burning holes through things like here it was burning through a hole through this piece of cardboard uh, but here yeah, this seems to be working this is a piece of cedar just a scrap piece of cedar I figured I'd test this so far so good I'll see how the rest of this goes I'll do a time lapse of this whole thing so you don't have to watch you know in real time but so far so good with this thing really cool the other learning curve is positioning like 
I don't know where it does this preview thing where it does like an outline but no matter how small I make the image it seems to still do like it, the laser will go this is this, this, like showing you like where it's gonna put the image it still does like a large size preview thing no matter how small I make the picture like I try to make it small and then do preview and it's still it still outlined a large area I'm like okay but we'll see we'll see what happens I'll figure it out Okay, there it is, it's done. I think it came out pretty good. My first try with this, it's not bad. But, um, yeah, that's right. See, that's where I messed up in the beginning. I was uh, adjusting the settings on the fly. I'm sure I could do better than this because I could see that it's like, kind of like lines. If you look at it this way, you can see the lines. And it would also help to have a, a less a uh, prominent grainy wood. The wood, wood on this cedar is very uh, prominent, so if it was a very more plain whiter wood, it would probably look even better. But yeah, so far, I'm very impressed with this little machine. I'm loving it. I'm going to be playing with this quite a bit. There's my first engraving. Look at that. Well, I guess etching, or whatever, burning, or whatever you want to call it, laser burning. And there's our first actual picture. And that's my little granddaughter. How cool is that? Thanks for watching.